What's up you guys? Before you go out and buy another skincare device, you need to check out my YouTube video. What's up you guys? Narmin here, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited. I'm actually going to do a review on some products. I know in my last video, you guys, I've been MIA and I've let you know that I went back to esthetician school. I went and completed 600 hours. I graduated from Paul Mitchell. With going to beauty school and esthetician school, um, there's a lot of devices out there that we can benefit from and obviously not benefit from. So I'm gonna do a review on Quixonic and some other devices that you guys might be really familiar with. First thing I'm gonna review is the Zoe Bliss by Quixonic. Packaging is super cute. And then look at this bad boy, you guys. I am loving the colors that these come in. This is super tiny, it fits in my hand. I started taking it with me to the gym. It's so important, you guys, when you are done working out, done doing your cardio, um, cleansing that face. You already know from training and doing cardio, you're sweating, um, you get those clogged pores. All right, so now I'm gonna get into what this product does. So we have a flat side, which is the cleansing side. Um, the small, soft, or bristles, it's gonna help with that cleansing. So you circular motion, you're gonna get that deep cleanse that you guys want. And then I'm gonna tell you from experience, after I was done using this, I went to go rinse my face with water and I just felt a huge difference in my skin. Not only was my skin soft, I literally felt that dirt and debris that I was holding onto throughout the day was off of my face. It is so, so simple, you guys. By hitting this little button in the middle, it turns on this vibrating um, and it's so nice because you apply your product onto your face and you start using this in little circular motion and you really feel it getting deep into that skin and deep into your pores. So when I'm about to wash my face and get that rest of that product off, I literally feel my face feeling flawless and super, super soft. It's crazy, I'm not lying, you guys have to try this because I didn't believe it until I actually put it on my face and it felt so good. I literally felt like my face was like a baby bottom because it was like so clean. Huge when I'm going to bed. The last thing I wanna do is go to sleep and know that I didn't wash my face right. But the fact that this little bad boy gets so deep into your pores and into your skin and it just keeps you so clean and fresh, I can't even express like the excitement that I have for this thing. You guys have no idea. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the back side. The back side is what I use for my moisturizers, my serums. Um, it's definitely something that I would use for that product penetration where you really want it to go deeper into your skin. They have this term, the press and roll method, which I absolutely love. It's like taking a little hammer and just kind of really pushing that product into your skin. So you're really digging that product in, which I love because you guys, we can't do that with our fingers. The fact that these bristles are a little more dense, you can do that and it's perfect. And this is medical grade silicone, meaning it is non-porous and it's not gonna harbor any bacteria. You guys, it is so simple to clean, uh, throw some antibacterial on it, throw some water on this and you are good to go. Perfect for an everyday type of clean. I'm gonna get into another product that Quixonic came out with, which is the Zoe Plus. And I'm gonna give you guys a review about what this one does and what are the benefits from here and from this one. All right, so to compare the two, the Zoe Plus and the Zoe Bliss, obviously you guys, this one is way, way bigger than this one, um, depending on your preference, what you like. Obviously this one's bigger, it's gonna cover more of your face. The Zoe Plus obviously has a stronger pulsation compared to the Zoe Bliss. Um, so you guys can go ahead and depend on what you guys like and how strong you guys want your product, you can go between the two. Obviously these two are very similar. You both have the petal tip on each of them. They also have zinc alloy bottom, which you guys, this Zoe Plus is detachable. And I'll tell you why. So some of the added features on the Zoe Plus, you guys, you have these two hydration dots right here on the back. And these are gonna be what you can kind of monitor your hydration levels. And with that, it comes with a app on your phone. And this will come out in 2020. So you guys are gonna be able to see your hydration levels. If you're in a spa, you can definitely check your uh, client's hydration levels with this as well. So it's a huge key point. So another cool added feature to the Plus is when you guys detach the zinc alloy, you guys press this button three times, you'll get an LED light at the bottom of it. Now, with this LED light, you're gonna cycle through these different colors, as you guys can see. And all of these colors have a different condition that you can work with for LED therapy. 
So not only is the Zoe Plus bigger, fatter, it's more updated, it has way more features than the Zoe Bliss. You guys, if you wanna be a professional in the clinic, in the spa with your clients, or even just a professional at home, this is the way to go. All right, so now that we're done talking about Clicksonic, let's get into the Foreo. So if you guys look at these two devices, they're very, very similar to the Plus and the Zoe Bliss. This one here is the Mini Luna 2, and this is Luna 3. The first thing I noticed when I picked up these two devices is the pedal tip. Um, you guys can tell they're very similar to the Zoe Bliss and the Zoe Plus, except they don't have that. And that was one of the biggest selling points to me when I picked up two different devices. So these devices are awesome, very similar. Um, the only differences that I caught on to was you have to know what skin type you have with, with the Mini Luna 2. I mean, to me, that's a little difficult. I would just want to walk into a store. I wouldn't even know that you would have to pick out um, a color depending on your skin type. I went to school for this, you guys. I had no idea what skin type I had until I really was in class and learning about skin types. Now, I can only imagine being a normal person that didn't know anything about skin types. You walk into a store, you would, I would go for the pink one because I freaking love pink. So I, I didn't even know you had to know your skin type for this. So to me, that was a little difficult and something that I kind of would just be like, no, I'm not gonna get this device because of that. So just like the Quicksonic, um, you have the little button in the middle that you would press on. You got the plus and minus depending on the intensity or how gentle you want it on your skin. Uh, obviously very similar to Quicksonic. You've got the front with the smaller bristles and you got the back, the deeper bristles. Um, it's got the plus and the minus for the gentle and more of an intense uh, cleanse. So you guys can go ahead and take your pick. I pretty much saw what I liked in both of them, but again, I would go back to the Quicksonic because I do like that extra um, pedal tip on top for that nose crease. Plus there's way more features on the Quicksonic devices and I personally would love that way better in my facial cleanser. All right, so now I'm gonna compare the Luna 3. So right off the bat, you guys, when I got this from the store, I thought I was gonna be able to use it right away. I realized you had to download an app, you couldn't turn it on without getting the app on your phone. To me, that was so crazy. I mean, I wanted to get down to the point, I wanted to wash my face, I wanted to get to bed, and to realize I couldn't even use it until I downloaded an app and get all of this going was so crazy. If you guys turn it around, obviously look in the back of this, there's no bristles, so it really doesn't really do much. I don't really know what it does or what the benefits are with just like a flat type of rigid look it has. And as you guys can see, the Ferrero has plastic bottoms. Unlike the Quixonics, they have the zinc alloy bottom where you could use them as a massage on your lymphatic drainage, um, help massage your face, which is why I still personally would still pick Quixonic devices over the Ferreos. So let's put these ones back. And you guys are really familiar with this one. I feel like this was one of the first ones that came out on the market. Everyone's super familiar with the Clarisonics, the bristle um, top. I do like this product. And of course, everything here that you guys see is waterproof. I wanna make sure you guys all know that. All of this is waterproof, so you can use it in the shower, you can use it over the sink, wherever you wanna go. The only thing that I kinda didn't like about the Clarisonic, these bristles are made out of nylon, which causes micro tears in your skin. And you guys, going to school and hearing that word makes me cringe, because I do not want that on my skin. That is terrifying to know that you can sit there and just tear your skin apart. And knowing that, nylon is also hydrophilic. The water in between all of these bristles, I can only imagine the buildup of the products that are still in there. And you guys, this goes on your face. I'm very OCD and I like to make sure all of the products I'm using, devices, anything, is clean before touching my face. So not knowing that I am getting deep into this and getting it clean terrifies me. You guys, these devices are so expensive. Knowing that the Clarisonic, you have to constantly replace the brush head. These things are so expensive. The last thing I want to do is go out of my way to go buy another brush just so I can replace it. All right, so I feel like I pretty much touched base with all devices here. Um, I gave you guys what I personally um, think about them all. But at the end of the day, if you guys are gonna come to me and ask me what device I would recommend or what I personally use, I would go for the Quicksonics. 
again, they have so many features that I want out of my money and that's something that I will hold so strong and I want to let you guys know what I use and I'll be real and raw with you. So hopefully you guys like my review. I'll be doing these a lot more often. Thank you again for coming.